In this video, we're going to go over what it means to be a planetary crystalline grid worker and signs that you yourself are one. If you resonate with the term starseed, light worker, and are very connected to the spiritual realm and everything related to spirituality, you may be this type of grid worker. is its own organism with its own chakra points and its own magnetic field. The magnetic field extends out into space and is generated by electric currents. The crystalline grid connects Earth with infinite divine source and ascension energies. It serves to raise the consciousness of humanity and releases new codes of awakening, higher levels of frequency in order to support us in continuing to evolve. The crystalline grid keeps the connection strong between Earth and are cosmic counterparts. There are many vortexes and interdimensional doorways that link the earth to our cosmic neighbors. This maintains the connection to other dimensions, galaxies, and other planets. So a crystalline grid worker is able to tap into this crystalline grid on earth and help clear energies. They help with the interdimensional grid lines to let more love and light flow through them and into earth. Currently, there are a lot of disturbances going around and distortions in our electromagnetic field here on Earth. And the grid lines are shifting according to these new vibrations that are coming into Earth. There is a rise in the current number of grid workers working here on Earth. And this is going to continue to go up. And the more it goes up, the easier it is to heal and therefore the easier it is to ascend and raise the consciousness of Earth. So grid working involves raising your own vibration high enough that the higher consciousness can flow through you and you are therefore grounding it into this planet and therefore helping others to raise their frequency and their consciousness as well. The first sign is if you are yourself attracted to crystals. This is my amethyst crystal. This is my rose quartz crystal. And this beauty is my organite pendant. So those are just a few crystals that I have, but I have many, many, many more. I started to be really drawn to crystals right after one of my spiritual awakenings back in 2020. I dove into crystals and crystal healing and energy medicine and how to work with them in order to raise my consciousness and raise my vibration. I started looking into crystal gridding and manifestation. So if you're really attracted to crystals and their energies, this is one of the first signs that you may be a crystalline grid worker. The second sign is if you look at your astrology birth chart and you look at the 12th house, if you have a lot of planets or points, or if you have like a stellium, a group of planets or points in the 12th house, this may be a sign that you are in fact a crystalline grid worker. The 12th house deals with the unseen realms of the universe, the spiritual realms, the etheric realms, the astral realms. The crystalline grid of the earth is an unseen realm. And if you have planets or points in this 12th house, this is a major theme of your life, which is working with the unseen realms and working with energies that people can't physically perceive with their senses, most people. So unless you have a very strong connection with spirit, yourself, your higher self, or intuition, you won't necessarily um, know that you're doing this because it's something that you will just know internally or you will connect with in the spirit realm. And the third thing is if you have a lot of earth sign placements in your astrology chart. So these are Taurus, Capricorn, and Virgo. If you have a lot of planets or points here, this may indicate that you have a very strong connection with the earth elements, including crystals, the grid lines of the planet. You're basically using your own body as a vessel to connect these points on the earth in order to raise the overall consciousness and vibration of our planet. So most of the time you're doing this unconsciously. You're doing it in your sleep. You're doing it as you go throughout your day just by being here in your body because what's happening is that your body is serving as a anchor to bring down all these energies that are helping to raise the consciousness down into the earth. Most of the time, we're not aware of this. You might have side effects that you experience as a human, like anxiety, uh, mood swings, sensations of energy, 
uh, ringing of the ears, things like this that you will perceive as odd and strange, but it's because you are transmitting so much energy throughout your body in order to raise your frequency. An extra tip that I have, if you really do resonate with being a crystalline grid worker, get yourself some Organite. Organite is an amazing tool that you can have to raise your own frequency, raise your vibration, and to help grid the planet as well, because everywhere that you place your Organite, whether you're wearing it or you put it in your home, can help facilitate the raising of consciousness. It's very powerful. When you receive your Organite, it's recommended that you charge it out in the sun, leave it out in the sunlight for at least a day before using it. It's just an extra step if you want to uh, make sure that it's cleansed properly before using it. Not everyone does this, so everyone does their own thing. Some people don't believe in charging and that's okay. Whatever resonates with you. So another tip is to use meditation and visualization and specifically use crystals or organite in your meditation and visualizations. Working closely with these earth elements can uh, open the door for you when it comes to raising your frequency and connecting to these other realms, whether consciously or unconsciously, work very closely with. So if you feel like you're a crystalline grid worker, let me know in the comments and share this video with someone who you may think is one as well. As always, don't forget to like, comment, or subscribe if you enjoyed the video and check out the description box below on current offerings on how to work with me.